optimize your schedule more for energy management than time management. Is that true? And if so, how does that look? I think it's a very underrated thing is the energy management that a lot of people don't talk about as well. So one of my favorite tips for this is really separating out my activities by the energy type. So there's two different types of energy and you can view them in different ways like left and right brain type energy, you know, the creative and the more structured, they call it masculine and feminine energy, which doesn't necessarily necessarily mean like boy girl it's more so you know like the masculine activities for example are like I wake up I get a nice coffee I bang through all these different tasks on my to-do list I'm whipping out emails you know like that type of energy versus the creative flow state energy where I wake up I go for a walk in nature I meditate I journalize and then those are the days where you get those creative downloads that tap in. You tap into that right side of your brain. Now, the energy hack with this that I learned is not trying to switch back and forth between those energy types quickly. So for example, back when I was in corporate, it would be like, okay, you know, you have an eight hour day. Most of the time in corporate, I was in the masculine energy. I was just cranking through securitization reports. Then let's say you're on an internal initiative and they pop on an hour long brainstorming session. If you're coming out from that analytical left side of your brain and you were just all jazzed up and then you go into this creative flow state meeting, for me, it takes at least two hours to really get into that state. So I look to optimize myself and my time and my energy by having a full creative day. And then I'll have a full get shit done day. And, you know, and I kind of like balance them back and forth. So I'm my best creative self and I'm my best, you know, like left brain analytical diving in spreadsheet self and without trying to flip back and forth throughout the day. And that's just a concept I think a lot of people don't talk about. But for me, from an energy management perspective, it's been huge. And then the other thing is like what we talked about before, where if you feel yourself dipping, like something happens, you have a rogue conversation, you get a weird text or something happens on social media, being able to flip yourself out of that state is huge. There are thousands of different tools at our fingertips. We have access to the internet. If you do, it's easy or, you know, your friends might know different modalities and things. There are so many ways to flip yourself into a higher vibration. And for me, that's been a really helpful hack where if, you know, something happens and all of a sudden I feel like a little anger or something off, that's where I'm like, okay, this is good. This is what I get to work on. And then I'll jump into a meditation. There's one called like fists of anger where I go like this and breathe a breath of fire for five minutes. I come out. I am so calm. It's like hours of therapy. I just walk out. I'm like, okay, let's restart the day. And just like knowing I have those tools in my pocket and it really just depends what works for you, right? There's tons of tools, but just having what works for you and being able to manage your own energy because no one else can do it for you. Everyone's responsible for their own energy. So it's really understanding yourself and taking that time to get to know yourself and how you work. And then you can be able to leverage those tools to just maintain that higher version of yourself. I love this. This is the nudge I need to go out and buy like the Tony Robbins mini trampoline. (laughs) Oh my gosh, that's amazing. (laughs) I love Tony Robbins. 